Bayern Munich are playing RB Leipzig in the Super Cup tomorrow. And we have some news on the press conference that Julian Nagelsmann gave before this game. My predictions on this game, my predictions for the lineup that Bayern Munich will employ and the tactics Bayern Munich will employ for this game. So let's get right into it. So Kicker, the German news outlet, have said that Bayern will be lining up in this 4-2-2-2 formation. However, I hope and I don't think that it will be this formation because Muller will be especially isolated on that right-hand side. He won't be able to do that much on that right-hand side. And especially with um, Pavard, as Pavard won't be able to provide the width needed on that right-hand side, it will mean Muller is incredibly isolated on that right-hand side. And I think Nagelsmann knows that Muller's best position is not on the right. It's in more in the middle. And if Muller is forced out wide... Um, he won't be as effective. I think Nagelsmann knows this. That's why I don't think this 4 2 2 2 with Pavard and Muller is going to be the formation uh, f for Bayern tomorrow. My formation that I think it actually will be is the 4 2 3 1 formation. I think Nagelsmann will go back to Bayern roots, back to the Bayern DNA, stop overcomplicating it. I made the video about his formations versus Man City. He used the 3 5 2, the 3 one four two the four two three one interchangingly in that match, but it was quite complicated, and I think for this match, as it's such a big match, Nagelsmann will revert back to the more normal four two three one that Bayern played quite a lot last season. So in goal, of course, it'll be Manuel Neuer. Who else? But the man of war, if you will. In defense, I think that Davies is a surety. The question is really, Hernandez is also a surety, but the question is between De Ligt and Upamecano. De Ligt is the new signing, Upamecano is more established, Upamecano did have a decent preseason, but I think that De Ligt will get the nod in the right centre-back role, as he, is, he has great ball-playing defender abilities, which I think Nagelsmann really values. He looked great when he came on versus Man City, and I think now he's been at the club for about two weeks, He's settled in, and I think he should get his start here because he should be our defensive stalwart for the entire season, really. Another question in this defense is whether Masrawi or Pavard will play, and I actually think Masrawi will play because, as I was mentioning earlier, Pavard doesn't offer that much going forward. He doesn't offer that much width. He doesn't offer that much pace, and I think Masrawi can really offer that attacking play that Bayern demands from both right back and left back and therefore the right back Masrari in this case will be able to push forward in the Bayern attack and it will actually be really beneficial uh, for the team and I think he'll play. In midfield it's a question between Graven Birch and, Sibitz and Sibitzer for that role, Kimmich is assured and I think it will be Sibitzer the Nagelsmann has spoken in glowing terms about how well Sabitzer has done in the preseason. And even though Gravenberch has done very well, I guess Sabitzer is more established. I think he will be the one who starts. In terms of the attack is where it gets the most spicy. I actually think that Jamal Musiala will get a surprise start in the left wing. He had a great preseason. He had a great cameo versus Man City. And Leroy Sané has looked horrible, really. On that left wing, he's looked disinterested. He's not trying very hard for the team. And it's not tactically really working for him. It's just all muddled for Leroy Sané right now. So I think Musiala will get the nod. And I also think that Coman will get the nod on the right wing. In, if this is a 4 2 3 one of course. Because I think that Coman was well established as the club's first choice winger last season. Even ahead of someone like Gnabry. Now, on to... Um, I think that Muller will start. Uh, it depends what formation Bayern are playing, but if Bayern are playing this 4-2-3-1, he will be starting as the central attacking midfielder. As for Sadio Mane, Nagelsmann said that I'm sure he will play a very good game tomorrow. He said that in his press conference, which indicates he will start. And if he's starting, I think Nagelsmann also said that he sees um, Mane as a striker, so I think we can expect Mane to start up front but you might ask where does this leave Gnabry and that's a very good question because we know that Nagelsmann has been working with Mane and Gnabry as a front two um, and the 4-2-2-2 for example would accommodate this but I think that there is no chance that Muller is not going to play so where does Gnabry play in this team would it be in place of Coman would it be in place of Musiala like maybe but maybe not also I think 
Gnabry wasn't that great in preseason, even though Bayern have been trying him with Mane as a striker. I don't think we'll see it. I guess we could see a 4-2-2-2 with Mane and Gnabry up front and Muller on the wing, or we could even see a 3-5-2 with Muller as a cam and Gnabry and Mane up front. I'm not sure, but um, at the moment, I don't see a place for Gnabry in the starting lineup. And there's other news from the press conference Nagelsmann did, is that Matthias Tell, um, is he's signed for Bayern, but he's ineligible to play. Um, and I think this will be sorted out soon, so it's not going to be a problem. I think Bayern hope to have him for the game against Frankfurt um, next week, but he won't be playing against Leipzig. And in terms of penalties, Nagelsmann also said an interesting thing. He said that he doesn't decide who takes penalties. It's coach Dino Topmuller's job to decide that. And this is after Robert Lewandowski, the club's penalty taker, has left the club. And it probably will be for me between Sadio Mane and Thomas Muller. They've both taken penalties for club and country in the past. Muller was the second penalty taker this season. When Mane did um, score in his first preseason game, though, it was from a penalty. But Muller wasn't on at that point, so... It'll be one of those two. My instinct says it's actually Sadio Mane because Muller's penalties haven't been great in recent years, but I think Muller will still be the number two penalty taker. But now, let's go into why I really think that this 4-2-3-1 will be played initially and what it will actually look like in the game. So I had a, I had a um, video the other day about Bayern's formations against Manchester City, and this is very related to it because although Bayern play the 4-2-3-1 versus Manchester City, this, in reality, this picture is what we really saw. So I think that Davies will be allowed freedom to go really far up, almost playing as another winger at times. And you see the straight arrow there, it signifies that. But as a result, if Musiala is on the wing, that wouldn't work. So I think Musiala will really cut inside deeply and he'll actually play in more of a, a space between the left wing and the attacking midfield in a sort of like a number 10 hybrid role which is actually where he's best suited so I think this is how Bayern will play him. I think that Coman will provide lots of width on the right hand side, stay very far wide which means that Masrawi or Pavard, whoever's playing in that position, will do underlapping runs, not overlapping runs, but underlapping runs into the middle of midfield, and that's how Bayern will play. And another thing I think is that Kimmich will drop between the centre-backs or will drop between midfield and the centre-backs to collect balls, to collect passes. And we also saw that versus Man City. Another thing is that Muller, I think, will be predominantly on the right-hand side, while Mane might be more on the left hand side and it will be sort of like a two striker uh, pairing with Muller slightly deeper but them both being forwards so the picture on the screen is how I think Bayern will really actually line up in practice even though it might seem like a 4-2-3-1 at the start but um, yeah I would say look at my recap on the Man City game the other day I analysed some of Nagelsmann's tactics and um, the formations he was employing and um, in terms, if Bayern do play this 4-2-3-1, which I think is the best way for Bayern to play, um, it's hard to see if Bayern will play it. But if they do, I think that it'll be 3-1 to Bayern against Leipzig. I think we'll get the win. I think we'll get the Super Cup. And it's actually really important to get a cup, to get a trophy before the season is really starting. And it would add a lot of prestige. It would add a good feeling into the camp if Bayern can beat Leipzig and beat Leipzig convincingly it would show trust in Nagelsmann, it would show Nagelsmann's doing the right job. But in contrast, if Bayern have a pummeling at Leipzig, if Bayern lose, I think questions must be asked of the Nagelsmann tactics. I hope we'll see a uh, not complicated formation. Nagelsmann makes things too complicated and sometimes it's hard for the players to understand, it's hard for us fans to understand. But I hope we just see a relatively normal 4 2 3 one and um, Bayern play it normally, have Thomas Muller as an attacking midfielder. Bayern should win the game. What are your score predictions? Goodbye.